Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. It's time for this week's STEAM Profile. Our focus today, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. We're talking about all the STEAM disciplines. KGL 9 meteorologist Danielle Gersh introduces us to a Lancaster engineer living his dream, designing circuit boards for spaceflight. It's a passion that exists in his earliest memories. I always gravitated towards electronics. That pull toward wires and energy delivered him to a career his mom predicted early in childhood. She would say, my son is going to be a, an engineer for NASA one day. And as it turns out... I'm an electrical engineer for NASA. In a nutshell... Uh, electrical engineer is that technical person that solves problems in the area of electronics or power. Allen is based at the Armstrong Laboratory on the Edwards Air Force Base in the Antelope Valley, but he hasn't been there much lately. We are not at Armstrong. This is the uh, Allen Parker Laboratory in Lancaster, California, <laughs> AKA my garage. NASA's COVID protocol, keep designing, keep refining, but where possible, do it remotely. Among his most recent projects... I designed hardware for our COVID-19 task force outreach. To protect medical providers caring for COVID patients, Allen and his team... Developed a negative pressure canopy system that allows patients to be located inside the canopy to keep safe the care providers that were with the patients. But he spends most of his time working to improve circuitry that facilitates space flight. Using fiber optics, for a structural monitoring, whether measuring temperature or strain or shape. Allen says electrical engineering allows him to use not only his mind, but also his hands. I don't think I'll ever get tired of putting my hands on the actual hardware itself. A lot of the circuit boards that we need to design and, and fabricate and build, we actually do right back here on the workbench. Electrical engineering relies on all of the STEAM disciplines. You can't do the science without the math, and you can't have the creativeness without having the arts part, and the engineering part is the implementation, so they're all equally important. It was a visit at 12 to the Kennedy Space Center in Houston that sealed Allen's determination to pursue his dream. I actually had an opportunity to spend about an hour with a young astronaut by the name of Charlie Bolden. As he learned about space and powering flight, I just fell in love with it and I thought if he can do it, well, I can do it too. Allen has now been at NASA for more than 30 years and reunited with Charlie Bolden just a few years ago. His current project, the FOSS box. It's a lightweight energy source. It powers fiber optic sensors that can be placed on aircraft wings, rockets, and even parachutes. Actually, I'm gonna pull this out. I was designed to be an engineer. I love it, I love it. Allen's advice to aspiring space fanatics, try reaching out to someone like him. I mentor 15 to 20 students a year. The part that I'm most proud of is that when I leave NASA, when I retire, the legacy that I leave behind in reaching out will last for generations.